no problem. Okay, thank you very much to the organizers for this um, for this nice conference, and also to give the opportunity my, the opportunity to give a talk here. I hope it's flashy enough. Um, right, so I'm going to talk about simple mindedness, and this is based on joint work with uh, David Poxtello and David Pulock, uh in work that appeared on the archive uh, last year. Okay. So first, let me start with the setup. So um, let me just uh, quickly recall what Calabia means. So we have a nice triangulated category. By that, I mean uh, um, finite cool schmidt k linear with a shift functor, sigma. And we have a ser functor. And this just means that an autoequivalence satisfying this isomorphism. And uh, given an integer w, we say that the triangulated category is w Calabia if this ser functor is isomorphic to this uh, w uh, shift uh, shift to the w. Okay, but we we're gonna look at negative Calabia uh, negative Calabia cluster categories. What do I mean by that? So we take an, a cyclic quiver, and let's consider an integer which is not zero or one. Then we look at these orbit categories of the boundary drive category of the path algebra associated to this quiver um, by this uh, uh, functor. So the ser functor. Uh, um, composed with this uh, uh, shift to the minus w. Well, this is uh, trying, this, these categories are triangulated and they are w calabial. So if we can have positive and negative calabial here. When w is bigger or equal than two, you've seen this, these are the classical w cluster categories. And so this is the reason why we can um, call this the minus W cluster categories or the minus or the negative Calabi cluster categories. So we're just going to consider the case when this the Calabi is negative. And uh, I would like to point out as well that these categories are somehow arise in nature. Um, they can, when W equals one, they, there's examples on, from uh, stable module categories of uh, symmetric algebras. And also we can, uh, they arise as a stable categories of uh, Cohen Macaulay um, modules over W self-injective DG algebras. This is work, recent work by Wright, Bill, and uh, Jean as well. Okay. Um, so, okay, I say here from now on W is bigger equal than one, but we'll, um, I'm gonna consider C minus W, so it's negative Calabial. And there's a theorem by Keller uh, that says that this, so we, we can consider the natural projection functor from the drive category to this orbit category. And this is a triangle functor, and it gives rise to an additive equivalence of, uh, between, so the orbit category and this fundamental domain in the derived category. So this is going to be the fundamental domain of this orbit category. And what is this? So this is a picture of the drive category. So it's hereditary. So we have blocks given by the module category and the shifts. And so the fundamental domain is this blocks mod up to the, well, the W shift of the magic category, but we are gonna remove the injectives in this last block. So this is a fundamental domain. This is what this notation means. Okay, so before I screw up the, time the timing of this talk, I better give the theorem already. So this is what I want to talk about. So taking a cyclic quiver and the corresponding vial group, then there is this object are in, are in bijection. So we consider W simple minded systems in the orbit category. They are in bijection with W with um, well simple minded collections um, in the in the in the drive category contained in a, in a fundamental domain and positive W non cross partitions of uh, the vial group. Before I explain this, what's so I'm gonna basically focus on this on this too. Okay, I don't know why I don't see this. Uh, I'm, I'm focusing on this too. If I have time, I'll explain the bijection with non-crossing partitions. But before that, let me tell you what the point is of this. So, what I want you to get out of this talk is that there is some nice cluster tilting theory happening also in the negative Calabia world. So we have this nice dichotomy that this theorem um, illustrates. So this theorem is on this side. So in the negative Calabria side, we'll look at simple-minded objects. And uh, in the positive Calabria side, we used to 
considering project uh, projective minded objects. So on one hand, we, we have non drive category silting objects, and we know that there's a relationship between this and the W cluster tilting objects in the in the W cluster category. Okay, so this theorem uh, means uh, saying that there's a nice analog of this on the negative side between simple minded collections and simple minded systems. Um, but this this builds uh, from previous existing work uh, by several authors. So there's uh, work by Buan, Wright, and Thomas in 2012, which uh, establishes uh, some bijections between simple-minded collections. The terminology was different back then, but but it boils down to simple-minded collections and and non-crossing partitions. There's uh, work as well by me uh, for the thinking. This is thinking case uh, for W equals one as well between W simple man between simple-minded systems and non-crossing partitions. And also more recently by Gene for type A and for NEW. And the, the bijection between the simple minded systems and simple minded collections uh, was also done by um, uh, very recently as well by, by Yama Jin uh, in the case when the quiver is thinking. Okay. And so what we do is we extend this, this theorem, and I'll explain, I'll go back to it uh, a little bit later. So let me just tell you briefly what this uh, what these objects are. So again, we can define these objects in a nice triangulated category, and so we have some uh, vanishing conditions and some generating conditions. So we we'll say that a collection of objects is orthogonal if basically they behave as simple objects. Okay, so there's this vanishing home condition, and we say that it's W orthogonal. In this case, W, and if W is strictly bigger than one, if there is some uh, negative vanishing, um, uh, and negative extensions vanishing, okay, for between one and W minus one. But we also have the infinity version of this, so we have all the negative uh, extensions vanishing. We call that infinite orthogonal. Uh, the W simple minus system is a W orthogonal collection of objects which generates the category in this sense. So if you take S and the negative sh shifts of S up to uh, one minus W, uh, and if you take the extension closure of that, you get the, the category. Right, this is the same as saying this. Okay. Um, on the other hand, the simple mind collection, so it's similar to this, so it's an infinite version of this. So it's an infinite orthogonal and generates the whole category by taking the fix of category. I'm going to briefly compare this with other objects which arise from a generalization from a definition of the given by Riedman. Um, so we're going to consider W Riedman. So this is somehow, so they are W orthogonal and there's, there's some kind of maximality condition here. So this intersection of these perpendicular categories are zero. And we have an infinite version of this, which we call W Riedman. Okay, why do I mention this? It's just to say that um, a W simple minded system is the same as W Riedman, plus the fact that the extension closure of it is functorially finite in T. And we have a similar, um, defin a similar characterization of simple minded collections. Okay. Um, right, so I said that the Amagin prove this bijection between simple mind collections and simple minded systems in the case where it's thinking. So what do they do? They take this project, this natural projection functor, and they see that this induces a well-defined map from the simple mind collections to W Riemann configurations, right? Um, and so, and this is automatically a bijection when Q is thinking, because this functorally finiteness is, uh, is automatically true. But this is no longer a bijection if we leave the thinking case. And this is a quick, this is a quick example when this, the, the algebra is Kronecker, because uh, we can uh, partition these homogeneous tubes and we take the quasi-simples from one of the partitions and the shifts of the others, of the, of the quasi-simples on the other set. And this can be seen to be a Riedmann, but it's not simple matter collection. The functorally finiteness of the extension closure fails. So we need to introduce a uh, simple mind uh, the of here, the fact that the extension closure is functorially finite. And so we lose this well defined, we still need to 
see that is well defined. And so we have this res other result, which is also interesting on its own, might hopefully gives other uh, applications, which says the following. So if we take a finite dimensional algebra, a finite global dimension, and we take an, a heart of a bounded T structure in the bounded drive category, then that heart is functorally finite in the drive category, if and only if it has enough projectives and enough injectives. And how can we use this in this case? Well, we can apply this for the case when we have a simple money collection in the drive category. And then we, from this, we can conclude that the extension closure is functorally finite. And then the idea to prove the well-definedness of the other of the map is to use this um, to prove that the extension closure rests, but now in the orbit category is functorally in the, uh, finite in the orbit category. And I don't have time to talk about non-crossing partitions, but yeah, this is, um, I'll finish here. Thank you very much. <laughs>